guys welcome back to my channel so today for this video i'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial but unless like a usual makeup tutorial where i use this beautiful face i'm going to be doing a little bruise on the back of my hand so i've done special effects makeup like this before but i i was not that good at makeup at the time but the reaction is still pretty good um so this is every single product that i'm going to be using for today and so this is going to be very fun for me because i really do enjoy doing this type of stuff so without further ado let's get into the actual makeup portion so before i actually do get started i want to give you a little thanks for you guys making my video absolutely blow up my last one and it made me so happy to actually see that so how i'm going to start is i'm going to be using a uh, setting spray to actually put on my hand just to kind of prime it in a way uh, i did this yesterday just as like a little experiment with the whole priming of it before like this so just give it a couple sprays make sure it's nice and wet and then i'm going to grab a new blender and kind of pat it <laughs> And it is kind of dark for my hand, but you know, it's fine. I'm pasty. So I'm gonna put a small little dab on my hand just like that. And we're going to blend that in. <laughs> Also, just to let you guys know a little bit, this is going to be kind of greenish blue, as you can probably tell by the uh, blue eyeshadow right there. Um, just because it is going to be like an older type of bruise, and for my many bruises that I've had in my life, um, they do get a little bit greener as they get older. And so this is what my hand looks like now. Oh, shoot. And we're going to grab. This is kind of a dark lipstick, but if you have a lighter one or if you want to use blush, I think I'm going to use a little bit of blush to kind of just smash it out a little bit. Uh, put a small little dab on the back of your hand, just like that. This is a very small one, so if you want to make a bigger one, then obviously I suggest doing a bigger area or whatever. That is what it looks like currently. And I'm going to start off with a little bit of blue, and I'm going to work my way out. So I'm going to start with this bigger brush, and I'm going to get a very small amount on the very end of this uh, blue right there. Get a little on the end, and then just put a small dab right in the center. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And then I'm going to grab a smaller brush, um, and grab a little bit of this green right here in my elf palette. Uh, it's very pigmented, and then I'm going to put that right on top. A small little boom. Right there. And so once that is done, I'm going to grab my beauty blender. I'm going to grab my beauty blender. Oh my god. I'm going to grab my beauty blender once more and kind of pat that. And also kind of bigger one. I'm going to go into this uh, skin color blush right here. Uh, I, need, I need something. Ah, so we have a little bit of that. We're just going to kind of brush it over on top of everything, kind of to give it the whole everything else around it is kind of hurt. And I'm not done with that part yet, but I'm going to move real quick. Uh, and I'm going to grab this little poofier brush. I'm gonna grab this red right here. And we're going to kind of brush it on the outside, depends on where you want to put it. Uh, so I'm just putting it right here, kind of just blending it all, making sure that it looks relatively realistic. Uh, so. I'm gonna grab that small little blur. Oh my God, I'm gonna grab that small brush again. I'm gonna go into this blue that we used before. 
and we are going to just put a small little dab. I mean, that's kind of a dab that I wanted. Uh, there, and then we're gonna grab this flat little brush and kind of just blend it out a little in that direction that you put that red. Okay, once that done, you have something that looks a little bit like this. It's not nearly as green as I wanted, so we are going to grab a little bit more of that green once more. And we are going to put a small wee dab right there. Now we're going to grab that same brush that we used before, but instead of blending it the opposite direction, we're going to blend it the opposite direction that we did with the blue. Just a little bit. And then we're going to grab that beer blender again and do a little bit of dabbing and smudging a little. Before you do a little bit more setting powder, after we get that, you're going to grab this big poofy brush once more and go on with, I don't know what I'm doing, my hands are just going over, with that same brush, blush, that we used before. And we're going to just kind of brush it over everything. Make sure that it still looks realistic, relatively, at least. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to blend the foundation a little bit. So, that is what it looks like in the end. And just to make sure that everything is all set in place, we're going to do just spurts of setting it. And if you want to, you can grab a blue blender and do a little dabbing to dry it off a little faster. So, All right, here we are with the end product. Uh, as you can tell, the foundation doesn't really match my skin on camera, but in person it does. Uh, it is very light, and I think the red caught a scar in my hand, but other than that, this is what it looks like. It is definitely green, uh, with a little blue in there, you know. It's, it looks normal, like you accidentally hit your hand on something, and it's been there for a while. So, yeah. So, that is it for this video. If you guys like it, you want a big thumbs up, subscribe, and also, I really hope you guys like this video <laughs> just as much as you liked my last one. I don't know what it is about that one, but like, the last time I looked, it had 62 views. And yes, I remember the exact number because my memory made me. Uh, but that is insane! Like, it blew up overnight, basically. It was, I, hmm. Like, Saturday I looked at it and I was like, okay, you know, it's like a normal 10 views. And then the next day normal teen you know like in the teens amount of views and then the next day it's in like the 50s it was insane to go back and look and be like oh my god like people really like this video but anyways that is all if you guys want to see another type of video like this or anything like that leave that down in the comments below because i would love that information and i will see you guys in the next video bye